Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna see basically about this age at risk calculation. And I want my friends to see this video fully because I don't want any of our friends watching this video not to waste any time until you see this video fully. Or if you don't want to see this video fully, I, I wish you please skip this video because it is really important for those people who want to know what is the basic situation and what is the future and whether to buy sell Vodafone Idea Limited. And friends, the first sheet now we're gonna see is about our own calculation we have given for you because I think it's very very important for you friends. We want to provide a lot of information. The first thing we're gonna do is that as per D, D is Department of Telecom. And the second slide we're gonna see is about the calculation given by Vodafone Idea Limited that shortly known as VIL. So basically, according to DOT calculation, 53,000 crore is the amount that is to be paid by Vodafone Idea Limited. And as per this DOT calculation, 53,000, but as per Vodafone Idea calculation, it is around 23,000 crore. So 23,000 crore is the amount that will be paid by this company. If you ask me friends, then the first thing you should note that out of this 53,000 crore, this company has already paid in cash. In the cash, they have paid around 3,500 crore. Let us, let us keep that 3.5k to be precise. So both cases, the 3.5k uh, apps, because for both cases, we want to see the calculation. So the first case we are getting around 49.5 thousand k that means 49,500 crore is the amount that has been pending now and second case if you see with this uh, wonderful India calculation we are getting around uh, 19,500 crore as the amount which is being getting back so second thing you should note is the index tower deal so what is basically index tower deal if you ask me friends so index tower deal is been the Bharati Infratel as well as Indus Tower. Bharati Infratel is owned by Bharati Atel and Indus Tower is the company group of Vodafone Idea. So if Vodafone is selling, trying to sell their 11% stake in Indus Tower to Bharati Infratel, if they sell before March 17, 2020, this company may get around 4,500 crore and it will end before March 17 because as you all know, Kumar Mangal Brilla has met the finance minister also the DCC of Telecom Department, the highest grading authority of Department of Telecom he has met and sought some concession regarding these tower deals to get passed and also he has met the NCLT because this process is very very important. So friend, if you ask me, uh, this 4500 crore, if it gets from this uh, index tower deal, then we feel less 4500 crore, so 4.5k crore if we feel less, uh, it is around 45,000 crores remaining for if we compare as per DOT, now if we compare as per this company's calculation, we are getting around a lot of amount being reduced because it's very very important to know it. So 15,000 crore, 15, crore is the mid remaining amount that should be paid by Vodafone Idea Limited. So as per this calculation and you should know that uh, this Vodafone Idea Management has also met with several dignitaries, GST, GST authorities regarding this refund of dues because they are saying that you can adjust with this juice. So basically 45,000 minus 8,000 crores which gives you around so 8k crores which means 8,000 crores which is giving you around 37,000 crores. So 37,000 crores is the final amount. So here if we calculate 15,000 crore minus 8,000 crores which gives you around 7,000 crore. So 7,000 crore and 15,000 crore sorry guys 7,000 crore and 37,000 crore is the final amount here. Let us put this set aside and we are going to see the final column. So 37,000 crore and also 7,000 crore which is the final amount we are having. But basically you should note a main point because it is very very important you should note. And today latest news regarding this news is that Vodafone Idea Limited has set us finally meet the government itself in order to get anything or any calculation that can be given by the government and the latest news has come regarding this Vodafone Idea Limited has spoken to the government and if it gets successful 15 years not one year two years 15 years plus a moratorium power would be given to Vodafone Idea Limited so set aside this 37,000 crore is the amount on the DOT side and Vodafone Idea be having around 7,000 crore so this is the final amount we are having. So 37,000 crore is the basic amount we have been set aside. So 37,000 crore divided by 15 years which gives you around 2.4 C. That means 2,000 
466 crore would be the amount that would should be paid by Vodafone Airtel Limited per per year per year by Vodafone Airtel Limited for this age dues. Now, if we consider by the Vodafone Airtel calculation, friends, if we consider it's coming around 466 crore per year. So, see the how much amount of difference if we calculate by Vodafone Airtel Limited calculation and also different telecom calculation. So, basically. Uh, final before calculation, we want to put this 2466 crore for a year, which means per quarter they want to pay around 616 crore. 616 crore is the total amount should be that should be paid every quarter for the for the continuing years. So if we consider 466 crore, which gives you around 116 crore. So 116. Is the final amount as per word of an idea calculation per quarter age adduce amount and 616 crore 616 crore is the calculation as per this word of an idea limited because it is the final hope that can be given by word of an limited. So, what basically this video tells you, friend, is that the basic calculation that should be required in order to know about this. And, friends, we have taken several efforts. In order to provide this beautiful information to you, you may see it is not worth a lot, but it is worth a lot because you should know what is a calculation as per DOT and what is the calculation as Vodafone Idea Limited because there is a lot of differences. You still can see it, friends. So, 600 crores per, per year versus uh, 400 means, sorry, 2400 crores per year versus 400 crores per year. That is the amount of difference if DOT is second and Vodafone or Idea is second. And we severally expect both of these have not been finalized and Vodafone Idea Management has to finalize any one of these amounts. I think if Vodafone Idea finalized this 23,000 crore of amount, that would be very, very beneficial. If they consider DOT amount, I think it would be very, very bad. But if this probability of Vodafone Idea increases, probability, let's say this F into P. So if this probability increases for this company, I think it's very, very, very important news for this because... Uh, if it gets the enough amount, I think Vodafone Idea can be able to move away from this. And you should know the last point of Vodafone Idea Limited is that the company is going to increase their tariff. Yes, the company is going to increase their tariff again. So what basically happens, some subscribers lose off. But I hope the revenue definitely increases. If one company increases the tariff this time, I think Bharati and uh, want also to pay a 20,000 crore amount. I think they will also increase their tariff. I think you can increase any tariff amount you want, friends, but the quality of service is very, very important. Even I personally have Geo and I personally have Vodafone. If, when I compare in my area circle, I think Vodafone Internet serves me better than what Geo can do because I think. Uh, the tower capability and the speaking clarity of Vodafone Idea is better than Geo because it may vary from year, area to year but I think Vodafone Idea is best suited not because we are a shareholders of Vodafone Idea Limited we are very very positive on Vodafone Idea Limited and we expect a beautiful comeback from these uh, efforts now friends uh, I want this end this video by basically saying one thing yesterday one of our friends has said that uh, he would be assuming to see 30 rupees in order of limited very very soon. If this share goes to 30 rupees or maybe any rupees, I think that's a very very good thing to all of our shareholders who are seeing this video and whether to buy, sell or hold is the final topic we are going to see and cover in this video. So we are seeing this video till now then make sure you can subscribe button because you could get a latest updates regarding many shares including this share and this is really important for us in order to connect to you, help you and serve you. And the last one minute we are going to see about whether to buy, sell, hold. If you are already holding the share, I think for a long term, so you already told, if you are positivity in nature and hoping for the best outcome that can be given by order for Limited, I think you are definitely blessed to have this share because once these problems are sorted out and any government help that can be given to order for Limited, I think, it will be best beneficial for this company in order to come out all of these problems. So basically, I have spoken about a long term investor. For a short term investor, we already said those who want to earn from investing in penny stocks. I think I think the best option for you is to trade in the swing way. Buy on lower side, set a target and sell it as, at a high rate. For example, the shall say in the range of 3.85 set as the target of 4.15 rupees. I would sell this stock if it comes to 4.15. That like you set your mind. If it goes to that price, then kindly sell. Don't waste your time in order for limited if you want, if you don't consider 
these companies would be good. And I wanted this video by saying all the best to all the shareholders who are holding the share. And thank you for your kind support for till now. And uh, see you in the video very soon, friends.